Today's tale is going to be about how to survive in the beginning. So right away, as soon as you start a game, you're going to get the old last battle here. You can read through it. Basically, old Hoggart, the weasel, he ambushes you. And you're about to see the results. So, uh, you have a couple of brothers, and now you have a couple less. You got your old Captain Bernard here, he goes in, and he is gonna meet his doom. So generally you always start off with, uh, one guy with a crossbow, one guy with an axe, and one guy with a spear and shield. And you're gonna wanna get rid of old Hoggart here. He's in the back, and he is gonna run. So you're gonna wanna try and get rid of anyone without shields because you actually do damage against them. Uh, this guy is going to step in and hopefully we can get rid of this guy's shield. We're going to move in and they will probably run around to flank me here. So we're going to stab this guy in the gut. Yeah, he's going to go straight for old uh, Bertel here. They always go for your uh, yeah, guys here, but hopefully old Bertel can not defend himself apparently. Alright, Dirk, we're gonna need you to uh, sort out our friend here. Thank you, Dirk. And uh, Arnie. Go uh, deal with this guy. So, the thing about the very first fight is it's basically teaching you how to play, how to do all that stuff. Disastrous things can still happen, it is pretty RNG. Uh, I've come out of this first fight with guys that have. Sustained pretty heavy injuries, uh, all sorts of things. The loot that you get is pretty RNG. I've gotten meat axes is the only thing I've found. The spear and a leather cap, that's pretty good actually. That is pretty good. Uh, so you always start off with your first three brothers as well. The other guys, they just they just bite the dust. You might get some RNG where uh, they survive for a few rounds, but generally they just eat it. You'll get a little bit of a chat here about the aftermath. Uh, you can read that if you want, but so be it. So the map is always different, right? The map is always different every game you play. But for me, apparently, Einstein here is uh, Eisenstein, or however you pronounce that, is the first place closest to me. So you're going to have a quest objective here. Uh, return to Eisenstein to get paid. So you're going to return and you get paid 400 off the top of my head. Pretty sure. We're going to have an argument with the guy here about whether we get paid and then he'll decide to pay us. Alright. Apparently we were a sorry display as well when we turn up to the city. So we expect to get paid for this. Uh, 400 crowns as agreed upon. Alright. And oh, sorry. You have two options. You can either go after Hoggett. Or you can decide, stuff that, I'll do my own thing. I normally go after Hoggart because you get paid a bit more, you know what you're fighting, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and that's what we should do. Alright, so straight after all that chit chat, you have a mission to pick up three guys and to visit a settlement. So what I do is, it tells you to, I'll show you what it tells you. So it says visit Whatever, it'll tell you to visit a settlement. My one is visit Brockdorf here, west of Eisenstein. And it's going to tell you to recruit three men and basically come back, buy some weapons, do your thing. Sometimes the town it tells you to go to will be decent, other times it's going to be a hovel. The thing is, is if you look around the map before you start traveling, you can see that there's slightly bigger and slightly better places around. Uh, so, Tromwatch, can't pronounce that one at all, and uh, Brunwald. Brunwald's a bit too far, Brookdorf is probably good, Tromwald would be good, but it is a little awkward there with the terrain. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to check what dudes I can get from Eisenstein, which is where we are currently positioned. So I've got a decent choice here actually, Butcher, he'd be alright. Minor, maybe not. I could take bigger for just just the meat, really. The bigger's not the greatest. They are really dirt cheap, though. The old day trader, he's pretty cheap. So the thing you've got to be careful of is 
So we've got 2,400 gold, right? And you're going to want to build up your mercenary company as best you can, knowing you're going to fight probably about four or five guys in the next battle. So we want enough people on the front line that if we take a few hits and losses here, it's not going to matter too much. The brothers we start off with, they're pretty alright geared. I mean, they normally come with Gamerson, the old padded here. The archer, he gets a light crossbow. He's pretty alright. We will throw the full leather cap on this guy though. So, we are going to want to build an army out of these guys. We're also going to want to look for cheap equipment for them, which comes from the marketplace. So we have a look in this marketplace. You can see they don't have the greatest selection. We're looking for spears, shields, anything that we can give to new brothers that's going to help them out. So maybe a pitchfork, but probably not. We really want spears and shields. So we're going to leave here. We're going to hope that Brookdorf has something. We know that Eisenstein at least has people for us. So we know that it at least has a couple of people that will be good for us. So if we can get equipment from here, we can buy the brothers from here. Alternatively, if we find there's better brothers here and equipment, we can maybe pick up both. Not really required. We're going to speed up a little here just while we run through the march. You're going to get a conversation from your one of your guys as you come into sight. Basically says the city appears on the horizon. Tells you that you know you might want to visit the tavern. You might want to check out how many people are there. You might want to check out the weapons. This place, man, I wouldn't want to live in this place. It looks horrible. Alright, so we're going to check out who we can hire here. So we can see we can hire another day trader. What are you, sir? Poacher? Poacher would be alright, but he's pretty expensive. He does come with his bow, though. Uh, we've got a militiaman. He's got a spear and a thing there. And we've got a thief, which, yeah, thief's it's pretty expensive. I would probably take the poacher here. Uh, he comes with his own bow and arrow, which is good. He is also going to have fairly decent background, so I don't even need to equip that guy. So we'll stick him in the back here. That'll force, that'll force the next fight to come to us. And then we are gonna probably just want to look at equipment because we know that the guys over there are reasonable. So we have a pretty cheap spear here. We have a shield. Do you have a buckler? And we are gonna be forced to pick up the other cheap equipment over there. Alright, so that's, that's pretty alright. It's not the greatest of starts. Not the greatest. So, we don't really want to hire anyone else here. We will, we will head back to Eisenstein. So what happens is, you can pick up the three recruits anywhere. It says, pick them up from here. Brookdorf? But I'm going to ignore that, because I don't really want to pick up all the people from Brookdorf. I want to pick up the cheap recruits from Eisenstein. And I only care about... The weapons. I only look, want to look for cheap weapons. Over in Tremont, I could have gone down here. Could have happily have gone down there. We do have to keep an eye on costs. We are coming up for dusk. Alright, that is unfortunate timing. We will have to camp here and wait out. I could have gone down here to see if they have better men. But what I really want is just cheap equipment. Cheap, cheap, nasty equipment. So, from here, we're going to hire our, the last of our party members. We at least want three. I would recommend a little bit more than that. We will take... Two pitchforks is not great. Not great at all, but... This is probably what we're going to end up with. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, that is a bit of a bummer. Right, so we'll pick up our two lads here. So, I kind of like the Masons because you get uh, things like extra experience on them and so on. He's not too expensive. Beggars, cheap fodder, yeah. Uh, rough hand, your butchers are all right. They get a bit more health. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hire you, sir, and you, sir, and we're gonna probably take on 
a day trader here. Alright, and now we're just going to want to arm them. So we're going to give out two pitchforks and the shield and spear. So, this guy here, he starts with an axe. And you're like, yeah, the axe, it does heaps of damage. The thing is, is when you're starting out, your brothers are pretty trashed here, right? And we're talking, uh, talking low down here. Alright, actually what we're going to do is, you, sir, I'm not going to get... You, sir, are better. Give you that. You hop on the back. Uh, you, sir, get that, because I like you. Um, so as I was saying, the axe... You want to kind of get rid of it as fast as you can, so I might actually take this guy off the front line. Might give him that, and then we can arrange our troops a bit better here. So, uh, whoops, no, you're supposed to have that. You, sir, are supposed to have this. Do I not have a better shield here? Uh, you can have the buck on my friend. So there's two things to keep in mind here is how long are people going to survive for and who do you really want to keep so I don't have enough armor to make these guys good this guy shouldn't take any damage I hope so he can have that is the butcher's apron better than your thing? it is so you're just trying to minimize and maximize what little equipment you can afford right? how much money have we got? we've actually got a bit left we might hire on another another brother so you're gonna take a lot of losses at the start right yeah, that's not what I wanted so we could pick up old Volkir the miner here or we could pick up Hansen we'll probably pick up the miner since he does come with a pickaxe we are unfortunately down oh, we could give him a buckler might keep the old pickaxe I would prefer a spear but I don't have any spears so the other thing, once you've armed you guys, just give them some cheap armor. The thick tunics are a little bit better than, a uh, little bit better than the other stuff. The hats, the straw hats, they're actually okay. I mean, look, a straw hat versus a hood, it's better than getting poked in the eye, right? Better than getting poked in the eye. So you sir, he's got like his little mouthpiece here, no thank you. So you're on the front line, you can have that sir. You're on the front line, you can have that sir. Uh, has anyone got anything decent? Leather? Nope. Alright, you sir can probably get this. You've got a sack on, so you can get upgraded. Uh, we will give out the rest of the gear here. So you sir on the front line can have that. Which we'll give you that. And then the rest of the lads at the back. They can really just get a mix of whatever's left over. Put you over here. Push. Woo, that's not what I wanted. You sir. I want you to have a weapon. There we go. So there we go, straight off, you know, we've got seven people, eight people. You're probably gonna take a fair beating though. Because the selection of items that you get starts not great. And your brother's not great. So once you've geared up, once you've got everything, you can just say leave. You'll get a next quest line, which is your unfinished business here. And they'll tell you where Hogart is. And you just get a little marker on the map. So you've got your little marker here. So we're going to pause for a sec. Okay, it's dawn now. So we're going to want to take this fight in daylight, which is dawn till dusk basically. And I'll show you right now. So when you get close to the battle site, your men can normally suss out what's there. Sometimes they won't, sometimes they will. But generally, it's good to see what's there. So we see we've got a few thugs and a poacher. Plus we'll have Hogart. And we can see, you know, we've got a few guys. So the bonus that I have on this fight, and I'll show you when we get in here. Let's just attack for now. It'll tell you what you're facing. So, my company here has got... We're up against a few brigade thugs and a poacher. Okay. So, this fight normally always has 
one ranged guy. If you do not have more than their ranged guys, they will not come at you. So what I mean is if you have one ranged guy, they have one ranged guy, they'll get a certain distance from you and then they'll stop, normally. If you have two ranged guys, you're gonna force them into you. And that is a much better proposition. Also, straight at the start, their men should run out, so we're gonna wait for them to come to us. We might take a shot or two from this kind gentleman. Thank you for shooting my miner, old Hogart. He's gonna run out. Our front line, they cannot do much at the moment, so they will wait. And as I said, their lads come right on into you. So this guy here, he's gonna, he's gonna spread wide. And I'll show you the reason for this in a second. Aha. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the man here, and he's gonna spear wall up, and that means basically anywhere in these squares here that they hop into, they are gonna get poked if my guy is good enough. Hopefully he is. All right, you sir, probably, Probably get you down here and we will spear wall you up. Alright, looks like the fight is going to shift down this way. So we're going to shift you down, sir. Now, this is why I waited with my archers. These guys are so much closer and I should be able to just knock a few hits into them. Generally, I go for the guys without the shields and miss, apparently. What do we got on this? We've got 51% chance. High ground advantage. Hello, sir. Welcome to uh, welcome to the battlefield, my friend. Welcome to the battlefield. All right, this, this lad here is probably going to want to just... Uh, should we move you down one? And we'll just chill. Just chill, lads. All right, hopefully this guy can relax. You, sir, relax. And we do get the advantage of shooting on them before they get in, which is nice. Alright, Hoggart, he's coming in. He is coming in. What do we got? 42? We'll take the 42. Look at that. Look at that. That man is on his last legs. Alright, bucklers don't give you any shield walls, so I fear that this guy is going to go straight for him. Yeah, he sure did. He sure did. Hopefully this man comes at us. He's not gonna. Alright, sir. You can dilly-dally all you like back there. For, uh... We'll dispatch your companions. Alright. And then you can just... Shunt up the shield wall. And we won't move in there. Might just, uh... Might just shield wall up here and... Wait to see if they come in. Hopefully they do. Hopefully they do. We're going to get this man around here. Help uh, on the old defense in the center. And uh, our miner here, he might start going for the old flank. Hopefully we can get around on this guy. You two lads, you just wait. Uh, just wait there for now. We will wedge another shot into Hogart here. Could actually start firing on the old uh, archer here. Alright. We're gonna just run at him. Just to distract him a little. Alright. And that is why you shield wall. Because now this sir is a bleeding. He's hurt. Well, actually, my lad is hurt, but that's alright. And now we can just start poking away at him. Old Hogart's down. He's firing in. Probably this boy is gonna come in at us. All right, we don't have much of a chance on him. So we'll fire on this poor lad here. He's trying his best, he's trying his best, but uh, his best is not gonna be good enough. All right, you wait your turn, lad. So I wait my turn if I can surround because you can get a better chance to hit here. Hopefully we can deal with this man. You sir, we're gonna probably rush you forward. And you, sir, will rush you forward. You might run. You might not. Alright. 
Uh, you don't quite want to go that far forward. Yeah, that'll do you. That'll do. Let's see if uh, oh, you can't quite get a shot in. Get about here and shoot at him though. Bam! <laughs> Hello, sir. Pierced your arm muscle. That's no good for you, my lad. Uh, do want to get on this fight, but all right, sir, so you're gonna get in and try your best. You will probably take a hit. It might kill you. Might not. If you survive, you're uh, welcome to the party. Oop. Need to try. Need to try. And uh, we'll ease up with the archer there. He probably doesn't need to join the party. And then we're just going to rush these lads in. And hopefully end them. And thus, we've started. So, this is on veteran. It's not too bad. You know, it's not too bad. Look for the loot. This is actually a really good start. Uh, shame this isn't my actual game. <laughs> Instead of uh, tips and tricks. Holy shit. So, um, from the first fight, Hogart, he's generally got patched mail. So if you're lucky, you can get that. You can get things like the shields, uh, the felchion and the short sword. Wow, those are good. Uh, we actually gained some fair bit of food and ammo and everything. Man. That was a good old fight. And then all that's left is uh, to return. So you get another little cutscene where it says Hoggett lies dead in a pool of his own blood. And then all you have to do is go get paid. And they pay you another 300, 400? What are we going to get paid here? Ah, another 400. And you get another cutscene. It just says uh, basically as long as you live, you're uh, going to do your thing. So now... You're free to do whatever you like. I would recommend hunting down the old uh, one skull missions that are fighting brigands as much as you can. Generally, the things I'll be looking for is uh, expanding out my ranks. I would definitely like more shields and spears. I would like better shields. Uh, so actually, these guys can... That's not quite what I wanted. But, uh, something like this is pretty good. So the sword gets a bonus to hit. Not quite as good as the old uh, spear here, but 10% that's alright, considering I don't have any more, uh, I don't have any more shields. Uh, sorry, spears. I would generally move these guys to the front if I had more stuff, and I would give them shields and spears. I would definitely look for more people. And that's it. You just have fun from there. Tune in next time for more tips and tricks from the Raven Company. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.